Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 20 of my Android development for beginners tutorial. Today, I'm going to completely finish the App Inventor Contacts app. So then you guys will know how to do all bunch of things, like pass contact information across multiple different screens, have lists of lists of contacts, and do numerous different things. So I'm just going to jump into it and show you what the finished app is going to look like. Okay, so here is the application, and of course I'm going to be able to enter in my name, and I'll also be able to enter in addresses, and after I do that, I will be able to add the contact, and then we can see my contact name right there. And I'll be able to click on it, and I'll go over into a totally different screen, pull all this information from a database. If I want my name to be capitalized, I just click on that and hit update, and it's going to automatically be updated, as you can see right there. And I will also be able to come in and delete all the contacts. So it pretty much does everything, so might as well go and build it. Okay, so you saw the finished app, and here it is again on the design screen, and of course these are just simple buttons that are fill parent, and now we have the address line inside of there. But as you can see, it's just simple, simple stuff. So I'm not going to go into that, and also I went and created an edit contact screen which you also saw, and it's going to allow you to come in here and enter a new name or edit the name as well as the address and update. So a whole bunch of different things, and of course you could come in here and add city, state, any type of information you want, as many as humanly possible. But first I need to get the block set properly in screen one, so let's do that. Okay, so pretty much I'm just going to stream of conscious, just go through here and build the rest of the application. Now, for homework last time, I told you to go in here and figure out how to add more information, like city and address and street, just like I did here. It's actually pretty easy. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to duplicate this, drop it right there, and this time I'm going to take whatever is in the address text box, and there we go. That's it. We got that set. And then what we're going to need to do is a couple other different things here so we'll be able to communicate back and forth between the two different screens. One thing I'm going to need to do here is in screen initialize, I'm going to come in here and also update the list picker just to make sure that that gets done. So update list picker, drag that over there, drop it into place, and there we go, update list picker. Another thing we're going to need to do is actually have the list picker open up another screen whenever it's used so that we can pass the information over and edit contacts if we want to. So to do that, I'm going to go into the list picker over here, we'll click on that, and then I'm going to come up here and it's going to go specifically to win list picker after picking. So after somebody picks something, I'm going to come in here and open up the other screen. And to open the other screen and also pass information, I'm going to go into control, and the information I'm going to pass is the index for whatever item was picked in the list picker, so that you'll be able to go in there and edit that specific contact. So we're, to do that, we're going to have to scroll way down here to the bottom and get open another screen with start value, this guy right here, and drop it into place. And I have to give a screen name, which is this guy up here, if we just click edit contact screen right there. So go over here and type in edit contact screen, and there we go and drop it right there. And the start value that I'm going to pass over so that we'll be able to find the proper index is going to be available with list picker. So I'm going to click on list picker again and I'm specifically going to get selection index. I'm going to have to zoom out here. Selection index, this guy right here. So that's going to be whatever was picked in the list picker. And there we go. And now I'm going to have to come in here and handle what is going to occur whenever the other screen is closed, which is going to be where we're going to be editing things. Well, I'm going to click on screen one right here and come over here to other screen closed. Pull that out of there. Drop it right here. And of course, all these blocks are going to be available in a link underneath the video. So what exactly do I want to do? Well, I basically want to go and get data from the web because that data from the web could have changed. I'm also going to come in here and get the list picker and make sure that it is updated. So let's just drag that out of there and duplicate this and drag this out of there. And then the final thing that I'm going to want to do is update the name and the address for the guy that's on our screen. And what I'm going to do, instead of actually pulling that data from the database, I'm going to make it blank, because I think that makes more sense. I might change my mind, but in this tutorial, that's the way I'm going to do it. So to make it blank, I just have to find set text for the name text box. Drop that right there. And I'm just going to put a 
quotes and nothing. And then I'm going to duplicate this and do exactly the same thing for the address. And there it is, and there it is. Okay. And then the only other thing I'm going to have to do, and I really don't even need to do this, but I want to delete everything in the database just to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go into the delete button, click on that, and when it's clicked, bring it down here, drop it right there. And for this guy, what I'm going to do is, eh, I'm going to go over to variables and set. I'm basically going to go to the list that we have, and we have contact list, this guy right there, and I'm going to make it an empty list. So come up here, sorry about moving around so much. There we go, create empty list. I'm basically going to delete that, and then I'm gonna duplicate this and make sure that our individual, which was like a temporary sort of holding space, is also empty. And then I'm going to make a call out to our tiny DB, our little database, and make sure that we store a value inside of there, which is gonna be NTT contacts. Don't know why I have a hard time saying that. NTT contacts and we are going to pass it this empty list, which is the contact list right here. I'm up here, and variables, and get. And very often, whenever I'm making these tutorials, if you're wondering, well, why do I scroll up and down to get different information, and sometimes I go over to the little sidebar and get information, well, I'm just showing you multiple different ways to get things. So very often what I do in these tutorials is not necessarily indicative of things I do in the real world. Okay, and then I also want to zero out my list picker, so elements from string, and I'm going to give it an empty string like this. And there we go. I just did every single thing I need to do with screen one to make everything work exactly the way I want it to. Now I need to go into the edit contact screen and change everything over there. And to do that, I'm just going to go up here to screen one and edit contact screen, select that, and here we are. Okay, for this guy, basically, let me just run down what I need to do. I'm going to have to have a list that's going to hold all the contacts that I want to edit. Um, I'm also all of the contacts in the entire database. I'm also going to have another one that's going to be the specific contact I want to edit. I'm also going to have to get the index that I want to edit specifically, and that's going to be sent over to this screen. I'm going to show you how to do that. And let's just leave it at that for right now. So I'm going to come in here and create myself some variables and drop that right there. And this very first one's gonna be contact list to edit. And that's gonna be an empty list. So get this guy right here, create empty list, drop it right there. And I'm gonna have another one and this is going to represent the individual contact. So I'm gonna call this contact to edit and get rid of this two that they put inside of there. All right, so this is lists of lists. So list of contact information inside of the master list that holds all the contacts. And then I need uh, another space for the contact that I need to actually edit. So I'm gonna come in here and grab this. Let's just duplicate this again, except this is not going to be a list. It's just going to be a number. And I'm gonna call this contact index to edit and I'm gonna start it off with a value of zero and drop it right there. The next thing I said I need to do is get that start value. Whenever they click on the list picker, this screen's gonna be opened and I wanna know which specific name they clicked on. So to do that, I'm gonna go into edit contact screen, this guy right here, and more specifically, I'm gonna get initialize. Let's drop that there and there we go. And if I want to actually get this value that was passed over, well, I'm actually gonna store it in this guy right here. So drop that right there. And then if I want to get the value passed over, I go to control. I'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit, get start value, there it is. And that's gonna be the index that they clicked on in the list picker. So now I know what index I need to work with. And now what I'm gonna do is create a method called get data from web to get that data. So I might as well just come in here and create that right now. So there that is. And get data from web, there it is. And to get that data, Remember, we're going to be using different screens, but we're gonna be sharing the same database, or actually anybody can get this information if they know what keyword phrase to use. And specifically, what I wanna get here is NTT contacts. And there we go, that's gonna get me all the information I'm gonna need, and now I can go to procedures, get data from web, and put it right there with the initialize guy right there. So there you go. Now what I want to do is, of course, figure out what we need to do whenever we get our data. We're just going to go got value, got that, drop that right there. And let's talk for a second about what we're going to need to do here. 
Well, the very first thing I want to do is I want to check to make sure that the data I got from the database is actually a list. Then I want to also make sure that it is called NTT contacts. And then I want to set the contact list to edit. This is going to be the master list that holds all the contacts, this guy right here. And I am also going to store inside of contact to edit the part of this list that has this index right here. And then what I need to do is actually fill in the name and the address inside of this part of the screen, just like you saw whenever I demonstrated the app. All right, so a lot of if then else statements. Go into control, if, remember the very first thing I said that I wanna do is check if it is a list. And is a list thing, there it is right there. Drop it right there. And I'm gonna get the value, get this, drop it right there. And I'm just doing a lot of double checking here. So if then I am asking, I'm making certain that it actually says NTT contacts. I'm just doing this again, just to be very, very careful. I'm gonna compare the text here, compare text, drop this right there, verify that it is equal and duplicate, and there we go. And I'm going to verify that the tag here is the same. Actually, for some reason, I prefer to have it this way. I don't know why, it just looks better that way. Okay, so there we go. Now what I want to do is save the value, which is a list. We know it is a list, and we want to save it in the master contact list. So get this, drop it right there, and we're specifically going to get the value from the database. So get that, which is just a list. And then we want to also set the contact that we're going to be entering. So set this, drop it right there. We want to select a specific part of it. So select item and we got the list and we got the index we want to work with drop that there the list that we're going to be working with is going to be the master list so let's get this get there's the list and the contact the specific index we want is this guy right here so there we go now we got the specific contact we want to work with so now we can go in and set the values for the name text box and the address text box so everything's falling into place let's come in here zoom down a little bit set Drop that there, give myself some extra space here. And specifically to get the list items, I'm just gonna duplicate this, drop that right there. This is the contact list to edit. This is the list that I want to use. Gonna get rid of these two guys right here. Oops, duplicated it by accident. Delete, delete, and delete. And the list I wanna work with is the contact to edit, this guy right here. And since I put the name in first, I'm going to type in a one here, and I'm gonna get the first index. And then if I want the address, that's no problem, just duplicate this, drop it right there, zoom in, change this to address, and change this to index too. And it's all gonna be based off of how the information's added. So you'll be able to add 50 different pieces of information about your contacts if you'd like. All right, so the next thing I wanna do, let's go over and look at the designer for a second, is handle exactly what happens when the update button is clicked on. So jump back over into blocks. And for some reason, I just wanna move this down here a little bit so that I'll be able to work closer with the variables at the top of the screen there. So move that down. And then I'm gonna go over here to update button and do some things whenever this is clicked on. So put that over there. Now the things I wanna do is basically whenever it's updated, I just wanna replace the items in this master contact list. Let's see here, let's zoom out there. Contact list to edit. We are going to make changes to, to this and then we're going to update this in bulk to the database. So that's how we're gonna handle all of our updates. So, just need to go over into lists, and specifically, we need to replace items in our list. So, replace a list item, this guy right here. We know what we want to replace, and we also know what we want to replace it with. Now, since we're going to be working with individual contacts first, we're going to come in here and get the contact to edit. Drop that right there. If we want to change the name, well, that's an index one for every contact. So get this and put that there. And then to get the new name that we want to store inside of there, we're gonna go name text box and get whatever is inside of that guy right there. There we go. Wanna do the same thing for address. Just duplicate this, change that to two and change this to address. And then we have to do a master replace, which is basically we're gonna replace the whole contact that's inside of there. And we're gonna still need contact to edit. We're not gonna need this guy and we're not gonna need this guy. The contact to edit is gonna be what is going to be replaced right there. 
the master list is this guy up here, contact list to edit. That's where we're going to be adding it. And the specific index we're going to be storing it in is the contact list or the contact index to edit. So there it is. Contact to edit is going to replace whatever currently is in this index value in the master contact list that holds all the contacts. Then what we want to do is send all that information, of course, back to the database. And also we're going to close the screen. Now to close the screen, go into control and specifically close screen. Drop that right there. And the only other thing we're going to need to do now is create the procedure that's going to store this new information on the database. And then we're all done. So go into procedures and I'm just going to put it right here. Don't get confused if on my website where I have all these blocks it's in slightly different places. Send data to DB. All right, so what do we need to do? Well, we're first going to make sure that our contact list to edit isn't empty, and then we're going to store it. That's pretty easy. So if, get this, drag it over here and drop it right there. We want to do a not, so that means logic. There we go. Drop that right there. Want to check that the list isn't empty. Is list empty? And we put a not inside of there to make sure this comes back as true. And then we want to specifically get our contact list. So contact list to edit and get. So if this is not empty, well, that means that it's okay then to store information. So we're going to go to the tiny web DB right here. We're going to say we want to store some information. So we don't forget, we're also come over here and send data to database. Make sure you put that before the closed screen. Otherwise, that'll cause problems tag we want to save with is NTT contacts. There we go. And the data that we specifically want to store is our master contact list. And there we go. So there you go guys. There is the answer to the question I got numerous times which is how to store lists of lists on databases. So hopefully that answers a lot of your questions. Please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise till next time.